Hey, what's up friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope you guys are doing well. I just want to share with you something real quick. It's kind of a continuation on a video I did some time back. I think the title is If I Had to Start Over Again in Tracking. And in that video, I was sharing with you some of the things that I would uh, I would do dif uh, differently. So I've been driving trucks for more than 10 years and what that gives me is an advantage to be in a place where I can be back, I can be able to look back at those 10 years and kind of uh, try and see things that um, I could have done differently knowing what I know right now that could help me have a different or better outcome as a truck driver. And so my desire is to share with you those things that I believe you can do as you start the trucking career, as you come into uh, this trucking industry, things that you can do to help you be at a better position uh, maybe in five years in ten years than the position uh, that you would be at if you didn't know this information so uh, if you haven't watched this uh, that video I encourage you to go watch it if I remember I will put a link in the description so you guys can check it out but uh, one of the things I didn't share in that video that I've been thinking about is that what I have done during my career is all I have driven um, is boxes and what I mean is I've driven reef um, trailers I've driven a dry van and I have re driven intermodal those are the only trailers that I have pulled and they are all just boxes and I think if I was to do it over again what I would do is I would try and get some experience in other fields other than just the box just uh, the like container um, the dry and the refrigerator I would get out of that niche and go try out something like maybe tankers try to do LTL try to do maybe whole cars maybe if you can do oversized flatbed I mean try out something else other than just being in one part of the industry so for me for all those 10 years all I've driven has been the boxes quote unquote but if I had planned better off I would have done something like maybe I would have tried out the tankers I would have tried out a flatbeds I would have gone into maybe try out car hauling so my suggestion to those of you that are just starting out in the industry and this I think even goes for those of us that are already in the industry like me if you've just been in one section try and see if there's another section you want to try out if there are uh, if you can get an opportunity to do that uh, so for those of you that are coming in my suggestion is after you get a uh, try to get all your endorsements get your hazmat get your tankers and get your doubles and triples and then start out maybe like in in the boxes like in either refrigerated dry van or like containers pull those maybe like for two three years and then go try something else like say flat bend flatbed or tankers and then try and do that uh, for about another two or three years and then try something else so that you have about at least two or three sectors where you have experience so that if you ever see a job that maybe pays better than and what you make and you can be able to take advantage of that or you find a company that um, is better than the company you are uh, you are with and you can take advantage of it or you move from one state to another location and there are opportunities to take advantage uh, advantage of you can be able to take advantage of those positions because you'll be able to say that I have two years experience I have three years experience the only thing that I would um, encourage you to do is is don't just do a job hopping don't spend one place uh, like three months and then you go to another place spend uh, maybe like six months and then jump over that's not the goal of this because what you want is to get enough experience for you to be able to say that I have so much experience and if possible try to get that experience at one company don't don't do that job hopping I think I have mentioned that before in one of the videos that job hopping is really not good for you so I would encourage you to try out the boxes do them for two three years go and try out maybe like a uh, flatbed do it at one company if possible for about at least a minimum of two years and then go somewhere else uh, if, if you so desire maybe like car hauling what that is going to give you is going to give you an opportunity to figure out what 
you think works best for you and then you can just stick with that after you have you know you have uh, your experience in these different areas and then if you ever need to to change uh, maybe uh, the company or change uh, locations uh, because you move or something like that you can you will have all these different opportunities open up for you just because you were able to gain some experience in those different areas first figure out what you think you may want to do in the long run and then try uh, try out different um, um, different things so for me personally i think i would have done the boxes that i do i would have tried the tankers and maybe i would also try car hauling i think those are the things that would interest me and again of course as i uh, as i've said even for those of us that have been in the industry long enough i think it's not late uh, if you think you want to get some experience in something else you still can make that call and see but I, at least what i've seen that some of these places like hauling cars and the tankers some of them require like two uh, at least a year of experience two years of experience so the earlier you do it early in your career the better for us that have been here long enough the good thing that works for us is that we have the experience so maybe training uh, somebody can be able to bring you onto the team to train if they know that you've had uh, uh, you have some good experience and you also uh, maybe your work history is really good so my encouragement again is mostly to those uh, that are setting out in trucking try and see if you can get experience in different sections of trucking that way you have all these opportunities open for uh, for you if you ever move or if you ever decide to change and you want to do something different then you will have uh, these other uh, sections to fall back to so figure out what you think will work best for you and then work from there and get experiences again as i said be careful not to just go from job to job stay in one place for a year or two or even three and then go try something else that you think will work for you do it for about two or three years and then maybe have two or three uh, under your belt that you can fall back to so i think that is something that can really uh, that will really benefit you and take you uh, to better places than if you just took uh, if you just stayed with one thing um, of course if you found a company where that one thing is working for you you are happy everything is working uh, well for you that is also something that you can i mean you can live with uh, most people just do boxes and they've never done anything else some people just start out in flatbed and they've never done anything else and things work well for them so i'm not saying that things can't work well for you in one section but i'm saying having different experiences in different ex, uh, uh, sections can be a very good advantage or a very good thing to have under your belt. All right, guys, until next time, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye-bye.